Hi guys, welcome back. Hi my fellow Junebugs, welcome back to my channel. Today I have got an unboxing and this is a true unboxing as in I just got it in yesterday and um, I haven't opened the box yet at all. This is going to be an actual reaction to what I got and I have never seen this item before in real life. I've never tried it on in real life. I literally saw it on the Louis Vuitton website and I had to try it, had to get it because um, it was out of stock for a little while. Then I got a notification that it was back in stock and I'm excited to uh, share it with you guys. I don't know if I'm going to keep this one. So this is going to be more of like an unboxing and then I would like to get your opinion on it, whether I should keep it or not. But before I start, I just wanted to welcome anyone who is new here to my channel. Hi, welcome. My name is June. I'm Dr. By Dave and I love to make videos on handbags and share my um, handbag reveals and unboxings with you guys. So if that is your cup of tea, do subscribe and join my little YouTube family. But without further ado, let's get on to the unboxing. It comes in this box because I did buy it online. Uh, this bag I saw a little while ago. I noticed that they first released it in the canvas bag and I actually really, really liked it. But I wasn't sure about the extra uh, embellishments that came with it but then they came out with this bag in leather in this color and um, the price point was so good for a leather bag that I could not resist I don't know if I have shared this with you guys but I'm currently obsessed with green right now like um, I am obsessed with lime green khaki I just really really meshing with it and I have bought many green bags lately but this one I saw I don't have a bag in this color and so I just yeah I just jumped the gun um, it was out of stock for a little while so when they um, notified to me I just bought it because look if you know if I don't get it now um, I don't know when it'll go back in stock and also I really just wanted to see it in person I can obviously return it if I don't like it and so um, yeah I'm gonna share the bag with you so it is a bag it's from Louis Vuitton I literally haven't even opened the box yet I'm just gonna try and stab this with a pen. Okay, I finally removed all the um, stickers. So, Louis Vuitton, as I mentioned, um, got the box right here. Comes with the receipt. Let's open it up in front of you guys. So, let's um, undo this to reveal. <gasps> Let me know what you guys think it is. This is my first time seeing this bag in real life. Just bear that in mind. So I am going to just take the bag out now. All right, you guys ready? Please welcome the possible latest addition to my handbag collection. We will see. It is the, I'll let you guys see it first. Da -da -da -da. Oh my, so it's actually a lot darker than I thought it was. Wow. Okay. Okay. I need to like have a moment with it, I think. Um, so this is the Louis Vuitton. Um, let me just get it out. Okay. Let me just get the receipt. What's it called? Uh, this is a Louis Vuitton Keepal Extra Small in the seal um, leather in the khaki. And it is actually a really beautiful um, khaki color. The embossing kind of comes out rather than in compared to the emprunt which is different. Um, it's got black matte black hardware so you can see there and it is a really tiny tiny little key pull and then opening it up mm. <laughs> black interior lining there such a cute little bag uh, and then it does come with this strap as well which is adjustable so it's all in um, leather and it kind of just is a little mini key ball. So I obviously have been on the um, mini speedy bandwagon. It, I saw this first in the canvas with the black leather, but then it came with the character and I just wasn't into it. So then it came out with other canvas like prints as well, which was cute. I kind of didn't mind the blue, but I'm not a blue person um i more prefer green and then i saw this in the leather and this one was really really well priced for a leather piece um yeah so i bought this june 16 uh oh no 
I didn't buy it June 16th. So I bought it like about a month ago, but they only just shipped it recently because of lockdown. Um, but this is the M5961 Keeple Extra Small, and this was 3400 So this is an all leather bag, which is fantastic given the price. I know there are some canvas bags there that are like... 3000 and that is just all canvas. I think that's what um, drew me to this bag. The problem is I can see some wrinkling there. I mean, it's all, it, look, I mean, thing is it's a leather bag so you're gonna get that. I'm not all that fussy, like I don't know if it's worth returning this for it, but I just wanna try on the bag. I'm still, I'm not sure at the moment. It's not like love at first sight, but I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to give it a try. I might actually just touch base with you guys to let you know what I think. The interior is just like a canvas lining. There's no pockets or any D-rings inside, um, but it is quite spacious. Um, the size sort of reminds me of my um, Papillon in the 19. So like this is a cute alternative. Um, but yeah, I don't I want to see how it goes. I think this would look quite, I thought this would look quite cute. Um, and then the strap itself is adjustable. So I'm going to put it in the shortest length just to see how short it will go because I'm quite petite. So I want to know if this will work for me on the short length. Okay, so that's kind of cute. So on the shortest length, it does work as crossbody. So there you go. And then if I just was to wear it um, the straps are pretty small you actually can't get your wrist in there that's the only problem but I, I can but you can't just do that like you have to do it one at a time so I mean I do really like the color I don't but do I love it enough to keep it that is the question, you guys. So um, I might show you guys what fits. Should I do that? So I might just share with you guys what fits in this bag. So this is what it looks like. Let's say you've got sunglasses um, in its case. Um, that can fit in there perfectly fine. You've got your phone. That goes in fine. Vlogging camera. That goes in fine. iPods. I mean, earphones. That's fine. Um, this actually fits quite a lot. Um, I've got another vlogging camera in here. Can we fit a umbrella? Yes, it fits in there. Getting tight now. Um, what else can we fit? Um, lip gloss and then contacts lens solution and then I'll just close that up and then that all fits really nicely and it's a pretty good size I really like this leather um I think it looks really nice and I know that there's a black version of this so if you were interested I think if you were looking for a really cute up-to-date um, Louis Vuitton black bag or if you were in interested in the leather version I think the black version looks really really nice but I wanted to try a different color uh, to see how I feel about it because I do have a lot of black bags already so that's why I wasn't really inclined on getting black but I think the black is really really beautiful and definitely one that I'll probably consider if I didn't have enough black bags already I'm kind of half considering it because I do really like I love the leather I'm just not sure about this color I thought it'd be lighter I don't, yeah, but I don't know. I'm going to try it on and see what I think and then I'll get back to you guys um, with a decision. Um, but I might post this up anyways before I return it just to get your opinion um, on whether I should keep it or not. But yeah, that is my latest handbag reveal. Let me know what you guys think about the bag. Um, I really like the Keep All Extra Small. I think it's super duper cute and I think it's a really good um, alternative to the Papillon, which I think is cute, but... Um, I like the leather that this comes in and I actually think yeah the black one would be absolutely stunning if you um, wanted a black little bag okay so I just had a little play around with it and um, as much as I love it I do think this is gonna go back um, uh, if I was to keep this bag I think I'd prefer it in the black because I thought I'd like the khaki but it's a bit darker than I want it to be I don't know I'm just not in love with the color and then um, 
the other thing is I just feel like this bag in my collection there's no real need for it does remind me of my papillon which I would probably prefer to wear more um I do think that the canvas version of this is very very cute if you don't mind the ed additional embellishments I do think that this is going to go back so um I will be returning it I think I'm going to be returning it tomorrow. Yeah, I don't think it's going to work for my life. Um, I do think that I would, like, I just don't think I'd use it. Like, I really do love this bag. And the price point of this is amazing. The um, the design is really amazing. But, um, yeah, not, not in love with it enough to keep it. Um, just a bit of information about this. This is in the men's line. So, um, it's a men's bag. But, honestly, it's so cute that it definitely... Could be for women as well. Look, I mean, the bag itself is really cute, but just not something that I would add to my collection at this present time. And also, the strap's too long for me. Like, it looks good crossbody, but I like to wear it on my shoulder as well. And I do wish the strap was a bit thicker. That would that would have been cute. But anyways, um, it is what it is. It's a bit of a fail um, unboxing, but. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and you know i just wanted to still put this out there because there we, there are no videos on this bag um and i just wanted to share with you guys what it looks like you know how it looks on um in case anyone was interested but like i said the black version would be absolutely stunning in this if you wanted to get something like this that is that um, i'll put the link to this in the info bar below do let me know what you guys think and as always hope you guys are having a wonderful week or weekend and i'll see you guys in my next one